So I was asked earlier today what was the easiest way to move your videos and pictures off of the iPad back to your computer. And there are a number of different ways for this to happen. Uh, some of them take some configuration. For example, if you wanted to use iPhotos, um, sorry, not iPhoto, Photo Stream to synchronize your photos um, to the photo stream that Apple provides, you can do so and then you can install software on your desktop computer that would then automatically download those to your computer every time you took a picture. Um, there's also the ability in some apps like Dropbox for you to um, have it automatically synchronize as well with some folder within Dropbox. You can plug your device into your computer with your USB cable and then through iTunes or just using it as an external hard drive go and find those files that you want to pull in and import them or if you're using an image um, software like uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery or um, iPhoto or something else on your um, desktop or laptop computer you can use that to also import pictures directly from your device if you've got it hooked up with the cable what I'm going to show you right now is what I had just I blinked on whenever I was trying to demonstrate this. Um, one of the things you commonly do with Apple, uh, sorry, with uh, with apps on the device is move data or files from one app to another using the open end cat capability. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into Dropbox, which I have down here, my Dropbox window, and instead of going into my photos and opening in Dropbox which is a common way to move things into Dropbox you can go directly into Dropbox and there is a place for you and I'm gonna use my mouse cursor here to point to it up here this dot 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 if you tap on that you'll see upload as an option and so whatever folder I was in I can now go and choose from my albums so if I have a video that I wanted to put in or a photo that I wanted to attach into Dropbox, I would do that and just, just tap upload. It begins to upload that video file to that location in Dropbox. Um, whenever it completes that process of uploading the video, it will then be available in your Dropbox. Now, if you have Dropbox then installed on your desktop computer or your laptop computer, another device somewhere, you'll be able to access that through Dropbox. So the key is the upload option that appears inside of Dropbox. Maybe I'll cover some of those other ways to do it in some other videos later on, but I thought I'd just show you that quick little tip. All right. Thank you very much.